Queen Naomi don't mean business, my people. As Kabiesi fidget, shiva, fear, cash Kabiesi. As Queen Naomi send a powerful parcel through the eldest chief in Ilefe. She sent it to the eldest chief so that the chief self go know within the soap. Because she he send the message through Kabiesi, Kabiesi would hide it from the chief. So she decided to take her, the bull step by involving the eldest uh, chief in council of Ilefe, send the parcel to deliver to Kabiesi, as he urged the chief to be there when Kabiesi will open this wonderful message. Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. According to the time this information is reaching you, it is your girl, Live Gist Plus. I don't carry another story from the palace of Kabiesi. Ah, if you've not subscribed, oh, please subscribe. Carry your seat and sit down here. I have a better, better gist for you. And to my returning subscriber, ah, I appreciate you people. Oh, thank you. This time around there, when Naomi don't mean business. Yes, she has made the business as she no one smash, she no one play with anybody again. If Kabiesi would have that mind to fly all over the internet showcasing how happy she he is with only of his wives, my people, it is really finished because those acts alone they said it hurts Queen Naomi the more seeing the man who said and claimed that he loves her was busy jubilating all over with the wives that the same people he, yeah, they said she was not uh, th that he said he was not happy with that he was not going to stay with the same people just as when Naomi left the palace the same people he's now dining and whining with my people is this not betrayer what kind of man would we say Kabiesi is if all these informations we are hearing about them is true what kind of man would you quantify and qualify Kabiesi to be if he cannot keep his promises to the woman who he said and claimed be the love of his life. I don't know how to really answer this question, my people, because Queen Naomi has sent that powerful message of releasing her ring, put it into a parcel to send over to Kabiesi. Take back your ring. It does not worth my finger. Yes, so this kind of ring is not worth, worth Queen Naomi's finger. Even though, even though the ring they said is diamond, it's pure diamond, but no, it cannot fit in here. The ring of the man who constantly betray me, the king of the man, the, 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 the ring of the man who does not even care about how I feel, the ring of the man who every time he gets me upset without even trying to make amends, they said he, she returned the ring back to him. Through the eldest uh, chief of Ilefe. They said the chief didn't know what was inside. Yeah, because if he knew, he wouldn't have delivered that to Kabiesi. So, my people, they said immediately Kabiesi saw this parcel with uh, Queen Naomi that uh, he was so shocked and was so afraid to open this because he knows it's been quite a long time Queen Naomi sent him something like this. And they say Kwenomi is not used to sending him gifts and parcels like this. So when he now saw it, he sensed danger. He sensed that something could go wrong. He sensed his mind, his, his heart might skip. So they said he was so afraid to open it as he handed it over to the chief to open. Because uh, a lot of them were encouraging her to open it that it could be an acceptance that uh, Kwenomi has decided to forgive her, forgive him. Or maybe Kwenomi have accepted to come back to the palace. Or Kwenomi has accepted to let everything go. They were urging him to open it. Why he was so afraid to open it? Because he knew he had never received this kind of thing from Kwenomi before. Now Kwenomi is not that kind of person who will send such a surprise uh, surprise gift. All the gifts Kwenomi has been giving him is he will get she will get his ring gifts uh, by herself. But this one that she did not come by herself and she sent somebody, Kabi is this male danger. As uh, the if the chief he asked the chiefs them to open the the package, uh, everybody was so curious and furious to know what is inside the package. My people they said they opened it. Lo and behold, was a letter and the ring. 
the two rings she had he had ever used to engage Queen Naomi. The first one he used as at the time he married her the first time, and the second one he used to get her back. My people know be smarting. They say the chiefs were, in fact, they froze. They did not know what to say about this thing, because they said Kabiesu was already panting, like he was he was breathing fast. That this could be the end of it, because right now for Queen Naomi to return that ring back to him, it means it is finished, my people. It means she has decided and made up her mind that nothing would ever. Do you know that the first time that Queen Naomi left the palace, they had the first time she had a quanta with Kabiesi. Queen Naomi did not return her ring. I hope we know she didn't return that ring. She held onto that ring while still hoping that one day everything will be fine. And until Kabiesi came back to her, so for her to return this ring, my people, it means say wahala deo. She don't mean the business. She mean this business so well to the extent that she summoned the courage to package that ring back to Kabiesi. Now the uh, Kabiesi elders, we are now looking at Kabiesi the way he was panting, the way he felt he has almost lost his senses. Because he couldn't imagine a life without Queen Naomi. And that is just what he said. And that is what he told us. That is what is on his lips. So we can't tell if what he said is truly from his heart. Because his attitude and behavior towards all these things, my people, I don't think is showing. I don't think the attitude is showing a man who is afraid to lose a woman. I don't think the attitude is showing uh, a man who love a woman so much that he cannot live without a woman so okay kabi six should not come and tell queen naomi they said on the letter that queen naomi wrote that you can't tell me you can't live without me why you already enjoying yourself with your wives well i have nothing much to say they are your wives you can go ahead with them i don't have any grudge against you neither do i have any grudge against them because it is you that went to marry them if you do not go to marry them they will not pack their bags and come to the palace so I shouldn't even disturb myself in the first place or disturb people that are in their husband's house. Let them be. Let them enjoy themselves. Enjoy the rest of your life with them. Your ex, Queen Naomi. My people, they said she wrote ex on that. The Kabi city, shout, mobeo, egg bamio, carry hand on head as she did. He did not know what to do next. This one means tota, tota. This one, it don't go with that utilo. That Kabi see. We now have to live with this. Kenomi has totally and finally decided that it is over. For someone to return a ring, my people, you know what it means. It is not a small thing. It is not an easy thing. Before someone will summon the courage to send a ring across, my people, you know how the person has so much thought about this over and over again. You must have known what to have done to that person that the person can no longer endure. You must have known what to have done that the person will say, no, this is too much. I cannot continue. That is the extent that Kabi Isi has gone with Queen Naomi that made Queen Naomi to return that ring. A whole diamond ring for that matter. Expensive ring that is running through millions of naira. She returned it. If she has still if she's still in love with Kabi so if she still wanted to Kabi I don't think she will really return that ring. Or what do you think? Do you think maybe she just wants to know Kabi's reaction or she's just doing it forcing herself because we all know that Kwenomi is so much in love with Kabi Do you think she's just uh, forcing herself? or uh, to to let go or do you think it's really coming from her mind remember they said she put her ring into that parcel and sent to cabin with a letter that is headed you said you can't live without me why you are busy living without me you see so this is too emotional shall because i feel so much for this woman but i just wish that uh, it's just a prank I just wish uh, he just wants to know the reaction of KBC. So KBC should better play his game well and not to fuck up. My people, they said the elders now agree with KBC on the day they are going to meet Queen Naomi. Meanwhile, the Akure people that came requesting for Queen Naomi, um, they are still waiting to hear from KBC. 
it is becoming so hot my people as all of us are going to be here to hear the fujis as i am going to be here to be releasing the bomber to bomber so that you can also follow up please drop your comments on the comment section do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget that all these are alleged information stay on the line i'll bring you more updates thank you